Hello, this is Jilly Bling, jillybling.com. How are you today? You ready for a treat? Look at this project. Is this just the cutest? Um, I think it's so cute because we're using the goat and the zebra, or just one or the other. Um, the stamp set Way to Goat um, has been an all-time favorite the minute I saw it. And then also, quite a few people said, and what about the zebras? And I was like, well, let me look at it. And yeah, it's cute. But now that I have it, I love this set. It's so cute. And I put them together with this project. Um, so check out this fold. Let me see. There you can see how it works. And I was trying to decide what kind of paper should I put with it. And I love this paper pack, but I wasn't quite sure that the floral would go with the animals. But this one certainly does but look at these and some of these I haven't colored them yet so they're going to be even better eventually isn't that adorable zebras belong with flowers and this one I did some paper piecing so it looks like this one is wearing jammies and look at this one we're in pajamas with just its face sticking out and this one is kicking the cans you're the goat, greatest of all times. Wild about you. And I love the colors. I love how they go together. And I'm a fan of blue. I must say, this paper, I knew I wanted to use it, and I was trying to leave it for everyone else, but couldn't help it. And look at them. They're running, they're jumping, their hats are flying off. I still need to color this one. And this was the first one I did. I really like that one. I got you a cake, but I ate it. Way to goat. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to make a different one using different colors and different papers. And I'm going to try, see how down here I sponge the grass? I'm going to try to sponge the blue in misty moonlight. And I haven't tried it yet, so I'm kind of getting a little risky here. Okay, you ready? Stuff out of the way because here comes my Simply Score tool. And everything that we need. Um, so when I was doing paper piecing, I had these extra pieces and I thought, well, that would be some really cute jammies. Certainly that would be nice PJs. Um, so I stamped the goat on there and I will cut it out so that your goat or zebra is wearing PJs, like you could see this one, wearing the same print. No coloring needed, but you could do that if you want. I've got lots of um, scraps of this paper for paper piecing. Okay, so this one I want to use, which three? Well, you know what? I've got them all cut out, and I've got some over here done, so we don't even need to stamp them and cut them out. They're going to be done for class, but this one is done, and a hat. This one talking, this one wants a hat on. Okay, this is my plan. And then this one could be kicking up a can. I'm thinking with the heels, but maybe this time it could be throwing up a can. Tossing it in the air is probably a better way to say it. So these are the papers for doing the sponging. Oh, and when you come to class, all of the papers are rectangle. I know when you look at this, you're thinking, well, I guess so. But when you go to lay them on the card, If you stamp stuff this way, it's not going to fit. Everything is a rectangle, and these are going um, up and down. Okay, so we'll do the sponging on these. And these panels, well here, let's start out with the scoring. Don't you like how all those go together? So the scoring... Of course. Oh, 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 okay. I get interrupted easy. I made this for Ruby for her birthday. 
this is where the goat thing all got started. I had the goat stamp set in my collection and she mentioned, oh, how cute is that? But personally, I would never say to somebody they're an old goat, maybe because I'm an old goat. I would never say that. But everyone thinks it's funny, so I think I used it right on here. Happy birthday, you old goat. But look how it has the Grace's Garden little gate. And it kind of pops up. Isn't that cute? So I was going to do this for class, but it's kind of confusing and challenging. Oh, I need another. I need to get more grass. Okay, but I thought I'd show you that. Very, very cute. Oh, and on the back, I got you cake, but I ate it. Ha! Huh. Okay, on to... Oh, it sounds like Honey's home. You know he's going to be loud. So just beware. So here's my score template. And this is for this piece right under here. That piece right there. So I'm going to score it at four and a quarter and then at seven. So four and a quarter. Oh, my bone folder had stuff on it. Well, that will be the back. And can you even see? Yeah, four and a quarter and then seven. Okay, that one is done. And then while I'm at it, I'll score this one at two and three quarters, five and a half, and that's it. Okay, so we're done with Simply Scored. And this piece here, this big Just Jade piece needs to be um, embossed and I'm using the embossing folder Dainty Diamonds oh and my new stampin embossing and cutting my new big shot is coming tomorrow can't wait so here's one that's all scored I love this print okay so that's done these pieces are just layered I have to get all my little animals Okay, done with this. Okay, so back to the pieces. This is the base. So let's just confirm the folds with our score tool. Okay, and the other piece that I decided that's going to be on the inside. I could erase it, but that's okay. Um, how does that get scored? How does so little piece, little piece, big piece on the inside, like that and like that? Okay. So I'm gonna make sure that those are all square. Good. Okay. So we have our pieces, and they're gonna lay on like this. But I'll get the um, textured paper, the dainty diamonds paper. I'll get that attached and I could use my um, adhesive which works good I'll use that all the other ones I used um, glue liquid glue because I really want it to stick together maybe on the other pieces I'll do um, liquid glue okay so this gets put right in the middle really like that embossing folder okay and then next is the designer paper these are going to go here and if you have the same print because I cut two sheets at a time just turn this one over because we don't want it to be repetition across the top Ok, 
thing. Get those stuck on there. And not that much of the designer paper is seen, so if it looks like it's upside down, it's okay. So next is to stick this piece on. And I do have a few tricks for that. So once you have all of your pieces scored, let's put this little bit on right here. So to do that, I will put adhesive. I know definitely this edge will be covered. And I'm not sure how far to go in here. If I go too far, I'm going to have the cards sticking together in the wrong places. So I'll put a little bit right here. So I put two strips right here. And then on the designer paper right before the crease in the middle. It probably goes down further, but I just stopped it right about there. That's adhesive to um, stick this the inside part. So if you lay this on here, and there's no adhesive over here, I'm thinking it will go right about there. Then look at this side. Is this amount equal to that? Are these all equal? If yes, stick it down. Okay, so now I have this much stuck down. So next thing is to stick this panel down on here, about there. But not being exactly sure, I might have put that on crooked. Hold on. Can't have it crooked. If it comes up easy, it's coming up. It doesn't come up easy. Okay, it's barely crooked. So to get this next panel stuck on, I'm just gonna take it, flip it over, and then put adhesive on this panel only. Okay, and now while the card is flat, and I can adjust this a little bit. Remember how I mentioned it was a bit crooked? So I'm just pulling it downward, because if I left it, it was going this way. Don't want that. Okay, I get it right to where I want it, which made a little bit of a buckle here, but with um, continuous movement, it will straighten itself out. So I'll stick that down. Okay, so now we have the base um, part of the card done. And if um, any of your pieces don't lay flat, it's just a very minor bit of a fold difference. Use your score tool to confirm the folds. And see, now it lays down just fine. Okay, so the other panels. In class, if you can, if you're using magenta, um, use the magenta panels. If you're using just jade, use the Just Jade. In the past, a few people have mixed it up and it makes your card look a little confused and busy. And then in the end, um, the people who get the random not wanted pieces, it it's not good for their card. Okay, so this goes here, here. And this one goes here. So we could stick down these solid colored panels because no stamping is required on these pieces. Okay. And those go right in the middle. And it's okay that because they, the panel went right in the middle, there's a little bit larger um, color gap is just white. That's okay. Okay, it's happening. And next is these panels. But like I mentioned, I want to try to um, sponge. Move this over here. So I'm going to sponge the bottom with shaded spruce. This is going to be for the grass. Keep in mind we're dealing with goats and zebras, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And more grass. I was going to do just jade for the grass, 
but it gets to be too matchy matchy and then it just looks like it blends in with the solid colored paper layer so spruce seems to be just a deeper hue of um, just jade and it looks like I got well you know what my little animals are going to go there you know what I got another little bit there hold on magic paper two-sided okay so now doing the sky in misty moonlight brand new sponge but I think I want this down further on the paper like that I want it dark at the top And the um, less ink you have on the sponge, the softer the sponge look is. So I just inked it up. Now see up there, see how it's darker, but it's a little bit, well, you can't tell on that one. Here, I'll show you on this one. So right when you ink it up, see how it leaves all of these blotches and freckles? That'll be fine for up there. But as you get less and less ink on the sponge, see how it gets softer? And I want that closer to the grass. This is looking good. Hopefully it doesn't look like a storm. Oh, bad. Okay, well it's going to go really close. Yeah, I planned that. I do like how this one is. Is Bo getting a... Okay. Bo just got a... I, I can't say the right words. A goodie. He doesn't know that word to clean his teeth and that is the highlight of his day so now he's in his bed eating it it's kind of noisy okay so i think that's going to be just fine Probably how I get ink all over on me. Alrighty, so these pieces, I would say it's time to stick them down, but I want to stamp words on them. You know what? I'm going to have to strategically put the words because I made that so dark. Well, see, that one looks too light now. Maybe more green. I knew I was taking a gamble doing this without trying it first. Okay, so the words I was thinking on this one, and I'm going to use Memento ink because I used it to stamp my little animals, is kick up your heels. I'll just have to put them in the not too dark colors. Let me check that. Ooh, looks good. Well, you know what? Before I do that, let's see how these are going to go. Then I'll know where to put the words. This one is going to be in the middle. Or, because the kick up your heels is going to go here, and this one is, well, they, this one is kicking up the heels, too. Yeah! Okay, so maybe kick up your heels can be right here. And, it's time to celebrate! Maybe that could go here. 
and way to goat. I think way to goat should go there and it's time to celebrate there. Okay, I have a bit of a plan. Kick up your heels. Right here. Good. Way to go! It has to go here. And it's time to celebrate. I hope you can see this because I did sponge that a little bit dark. Okay, when you do it, don't sponge it so dark. Oh, well, it turned out fine. Okay, when you do it, do whatever you like. It's just fine. Okay, so now, using dimensionals, it's time to, oh, just a minute. I got a new robot cleaner, and she's supposed to start at 10, which she did. And then she got put away, and I guess she thought she needs to do more cleaning. It's time to celebrate. Okay. And the hat needs mini dimensionals. Okay, that dimensional is kind of hanging off, but it'll be fine because it'll stick on these panels. Um, okay, let's do the way to goat. Goat. Okay. And then the can, I could put it anywhere other than the creases. Where should I put the can? How about, that goes there. Right there. And, little zebra. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to do this one. I have a feeling it's going to be one of the all-time favorites. Remember how we liked the piggy? I think this one might be in the same realm. I wonder if you could put masks on these critters. I bet you Carol and Barb would figure it out. Yay! Okay, these hats I have on them. Some of them I have the hat flying off, but, you know, looking at this, I'm not so sure that the mango goes with this, but it's still cute. Okay, almost done. I think I like the sponging. It makes it look like it's, it's dusk. I guess the red means I'm all out. Good thing my order came yesterday. Look what I have. I hope this is the same stuff. Ooh, and you even have to pull it. It's sealed for freshness. could use those bags. They're kind of nice. Okay, so if ever you're wondering how, keep this outside part. That just goes in there on the little pegs. And this goes in the top. Oh, it's together. So now it should be ready to roll. 
should be. <laughs> but you see, whenever I have all these problems, if I have it, I know you might have it. So I'm not going to try to figure out how to edit all those out because you might appreciate them. I'd like to think. Okay, kick up your heels. This one is cute. Oh, and you know what? I just noticed that I didn't plan. Misty Moonlight, look what color the flower centers are. And you probably didn't notice that. Yeah, that's kind of upside down because it just looks like it's coming in from the top. Okay, so here's the finished card. Could you imagine getting that? I'd be so honored. I love this. <sighs> okay, so I will post all the projects and all the products used um, for this project, including all of these other little gems um, on my blog. And I'll post still pictures, so if you want to copy one in particular, you can do that. And um, my blog is jillybling.com. And if you click on any of the thumbnails below in the products list, it will take you to my store at jillystampinup.net. And if you have a minute, if you could click like the video, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Thank you very much. Until next time I see you, have a great day. Bye.